Did you know there are 25 things you can do with mayonnaise? Even if you're a mayo hater, you can probably find a use for it. Let's get started with a very skeptical use, Alfredo sauce. The addition of mayonnaise is supposed to make it extra creamy. The only real time I think you would ever use mayonnaise instead of just making it a classic way is if you just didn't have heavy cream or a really rich milk, the mayonnaise is going to do that work for you. Just starting with garlic, then we're gonna add in either milk or half and half and the good old mayo. I'm not gonna tell you this is like a low fat substitution for heavy cream, but it is a convenience product because you already have it in your fridge and you don't have to go out and buy an extra ingredient. Plus, it's a little less expensive. Looks like Alfredo, but does it taste like Alfredo? It's not bad. If I didn't know there was mayo in there, I would not have tasted it. I can taste it in the back end a little bit, but it's not bad. Next up, mayonnaise pancakes. Now before you get all crazy about that, you gotta remember mayonnaise is mostly just eggs and oil. So eggs and oil are already in your pancake batter. A little bit of mayo is just gonna make them a little extra fluffy. They feel so light and like pillowy. You know, it's just like your little secret ingredient. Just a couple tablespoons will do you. Mm. We'll continue to use mayonnaise as a secret ingredient for breakfast by adding them to scrambled eggs. The end result is going to be a really silk texture, but they'll still be firm, not a super soft scrambled egg. Look at that. They are creamy and rich looking. Those look like some perfect scrambled eggs. Mm. Those might be some of the best scrambled eggs I've ever had. You guessed it. I'm gonna add mayonnaise to mashed potatoes for an indulgent treat. Just make your mashed potatoes like you normally would and when it comes time to stir in that sour cream, add in a little mayo and see what happens. I don't really taste it. It actually adds a nice little tang at the end. Hmm. Get this, with mayonnaise, we're only three ingredients away from easy, delicious biscuits. All we need is self-rising flour, mayonnaise, and milk. They're so easy and no rolling and cutting required. These biscuits are baked in muffin cups. You gotta admit, these are pretty cute and they're definitely the easiest biscuits you'll ever make. Next, you can turn extra lean ground beef into juicy, delicious burgers. Especially with the recent beef shortage, you can only find sometimes extra lean ground beef. This doesn't always make for juicy, delicious burgers, but add in a little mayo and problem solved. I love that the mayonnaise isn't going to really change or impart any real flavor. It's just gonna add juiciness and that fat that we need. You can use mayonnaise as an egg wash on baked goods like pie. It's going to bake up shiny. You're not really gonna taste it. We'll sprinkle a little sugar on it. It's gonna be beautiful. Next, we're going to use mayonnaise for roasting a chicken. You can adapt this process for whatever recipe you like. I just stuffed the cavity like you normally would with a little bit of lemon, onion, garlic, and thyme. And now I'm gonna make a mayonnaise rub to slather all over the bird, even under the skin. It's gonna help keep it so moist and juicy. Next, we're gonna sprinkle it liberally with salt and pepper. All right, this bird is full of flavor. Let's roast away. Juicy bird in the house. And that is pretty. It's perfectly golden brown and it's ju it just makes your mouth water because it looks so good. Don't let this next tip scare you. We're gonna add a little bit of mayonnaise to frosting to make it extra creamy. You're just adding enough to smooth it out and this will keep it from stiffening up. You're not gonna alter the flavor. You definitely don't wanna go overboard though. That's some creamy frosting. Mayonnaise is mostly made of fat and fat delivers flavor so it makes it a perfect component to add to your marinades. Best marinade ever. I definitely approve this method. And as an added bonus, the mayonnaise is going to help keep your meat from sticking to the grill. Which brings me to my next tip. You can brush lean meats like fish and chicken before you grill them to keep them from sticking. You've probably heard of this next use for mayonnaise and that is a delicious grilled cheese. The purpose here is to spread a thin layer on the outside in place of butter. It's gonna be epic. Yes. Look at that. Told you it was gonna be epic. Mm. Mayonnaise replaces egg wash again when you add it to your breading process. 
You can go from a three-step breading process to only two by dipping it in mayonnaise and then your coating. And you could also flavor the mayonnaise to add additional flavor to your breading process. Mayonnaise can also be used as a binder in things like casseroles or things like crab cakes. You can use it in addition to an egg or in place of an egg in a recipe. Mayonnaise will really add a lot of moisture and flavor to this type of dish. Since eggs are a main component to mayonnaise, it makes the perfect base for ice cream. Think I'm kidding? Check this out. And surprisingly, it tasted good and was so creamy. Speaking of dessert, mayonnaise is the key ingredient to a moist chocolate cake. It's a match made in heaven. Once you've got your dry ingredients together, you're just gonna stir in some water, mayonnaise, and vanilla, and you've got a delicious cake batter. This creamy batter turns into this. Did you know you can use mayonnaise to get gum out of hair? No, I'm not about to put gum in my hair to prove it to you. Just trust me on this one. The oil in the mayonnaise is going to help get you out of that sticky situation. Speaking of hair, mayonnaise is the perfect conditioner and remedy for lice. I don't have lice. You don't have lice, but it's a good conditioner. Oh. A great household use for mayonnaise is to help remove price tags from things. Just rub some on there and let it absorb into the paper. And don't fret if you get it on your hands because mayonnaise makes a great cuticle cream. Use your nail or anything kind of straight and sharp and you can just brush it right off. And now it's ready for my house plant. Speaking of house plants, did you know mayonnaise can make the leaves nice and shiny? Just put a little mayo on a paper towel or cloth. A little bit goes a long way here. And rub it down. Check out the before and after. Now that looks good. Because of the oil and mayonnaise, it makes it perfect for loosening tight rings. They'll just need a good cleaning afterwards. This summer, you can put this mayonnaise to use to heal your sunburns. Just rub it on in. My mom taught me this next trick when she was so disappointed that we ruined her dining room table. You can use mayonnaise to get water rings out of furniture. I sure hope this next trick works or else I might get fired. Mayonnaise can get crayon marks off the walls. Let's try it out. Moms, this trick is for you. Oh, look at that. <sighs> Job security. Well, that wore me out. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to look at mayonnaise for a while, but at least now you have all the ways to use it. Comment below and let me know what you're gonna use mayo for and tag a mayo hater in the comments below so that they have to watch this video. And as always, don't forget to follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook so that you can keep up with all things, all recipes. Oh, <laughs> it's cold. Does it feel good? <laughs> it's on your head. It's so refreshing. It's a nice spa day. <laughs> Are you happy? Yes. Can we be done? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take your picture. <laughs>